Welcome everyone to the Psycho Sim Project here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new album by the Godfathers of New Metal, the one only Korn and their new album, The Nothing. Uh, now as a Korn fan I have to ask, is this going to live up to their legends or is this going to be another dodgy album such as the second Korn self-titled album? I had to work out a way to say that then. Or is it going to be as bad as Take a Look in the Mirror, which wasn't? Great, let's be honest. Well, let's give this a listen, shall we? The Nothing is the brand new album from new metal godfathers, Korn, and, um, wow, this is, uh, this is an interesting one. Um, not in a bad way, not in a bad way. Uh, for those who may not know, uh, during the beginning of the writing for this album, lead singer Jonathan Davis, unfortunately, um, tragically lost his wife. Um, I can't mem remember the details, but... Yeah, she um, tragically passed away, which obviously has a massive, massive impact on the lyrics and the um, style of this album. Um, and you know you're in for a somewhat uh, difficult album when the first track on an album ends with the lead singer crying. <laughs> now, last time we heard Jonathan Davis fully crying was in the intensely haunting daddy from the first album which to this day is still an incredibly hard listen and um, now i'm a long long time um cool fan um, i've been listening to them since 1999 uh, when they released for the leader but for the leader wasn't the first album i heard by then i had actually got into them through their debut album in 1999 and then caught up to for the leader and um, I'm one of those strange people who love Life is Peachy, which is apparently one of their be uh, worst albums or some rubbish like that. Anyway, um, yeah, we get that intro, which is the end begins, which ends with uh, Jonathan Davis basically breaking down, which is not good for the first two minutes of her album. Well, it is, but you know, it's, uh, it sets you, <laughs> set you listens up to know what's coming. Um, and then we crash into Cole, which may be one of the heaviest sounding songs that Cole have done for a while. Um, then we get the first single, You'll Never Find Me, or, yeah, it's the first single, um, which gives an indication of the sound of this album, um, along with Cole, which is that mash meshing of the old school Cole style, like very old school Cole style, with some of the newer productions and some of the newer um, experimental sounds that Paul have gone through and um, don't worry there's no sign of any dubstep on this album there's a few little electronic elements um, from and a little few sort of gothic um, elements pervading this entire album from Jonathan Davis's solo, solo stuff but none of it overtakes the cool and sound as it were and um, the riffs are heavy as all hell as always um, and yeah this is probably the best song so far that's been released a single for you to go check out to find out whether or not you're going to like this album um, now if you're a long time Korn fan you gotta like it that's as simple as that um, and um, I have to say this is probably the best Jonathan Davis himself has sound vo sounded vocally for a while uh, not to say he's been a slouch on previous albums or anything but um, just on this he's got an extra sort of edge and intenseness and passion to his voice which is understandable I mean the man's basically still going through the guilt process not guilt process sorry that's the wrong word um, grieving process that's the word I'm looking for um, there's some other fantastic highlights really the whole album is a highlight I'm going to say that now um, Idiosyncrasy has some awesome is an awesome awesome song although a lot of people have been in reviews um, that I've seen uh, laughing at the line God is laughing at me which is said near the end now if you're going to have a go at Korn for kind of slightly corny lyrics, excuse the pun, um, then there's worse than God is laughing at me, you know? And really, in the position that Jonathan Davis has been in for his entire life, where things do keep going wrong, you can't really, you can understand where he's coming from, singing that and using that as a lyric. I'm just surprised it's taken so long. Um, Seduction of Indulgence, really, really good song as well. Finally Free, oh God, Finally Free. Um, finally free is a hard listen um, mainly because not because there's anything from Jonathan Davis crying or anything like that but just because what it is singing about is obviously saying to his wife 
um, you're finally free of all the bullshit you went through while on Earth. Um, and yeah, it's it's not an easy listen. I mean, straight up, it's not an album to listen to if you're in any way feeling unhappy or depressed, it has to be said. Um, Can You Hear Me is a good follow-up to Finally Free as well. Um, it goes on, Gravity Discomfort, another really good song, um, which goes through kind of um, Jonathan saying how it's difficult for him to really deal with what's gone on and how he wished more anything, obviously, that it hadn't happened. Harder is an absolute highlight for me. Really love this song. Hoping it's a single. Really hoping it's a single. Really enjoyed this. Um, as much as you can enjoy a corn album about someone grieving for their wife. Um, and then This Loss is another really, really quite difficult song to listen to, along with the last song, Surrender to Failure. Um, when I say they're difficult songs to listen to, again, I don't mean because like they're bad songs or anything, just the lyrical content and the way it's sung. Um, it does, it, this, this is a song that is something, um, this is an album that um, tugs at your emotions in a way that Corner's not really done for a little while for me personally. And Surrender to Failure, yeah, that's, that's, that's possibly the point you've got to break down really. It's, a, it's an outro, but Jesus. Um, so all in all, despite this being a uh, difficult, lyrically album to listen to um, oh the other film's going to say sorry with this loss I think it's this loss um, that's essentially the Bohemian Rhapsody of grief that's the best way I can put that song um, all in all even though I liked the last Corn album um, it didn't quite hit, connect with me in the same way um, as previous Corn albums have done in the past and even though I liked the strain that you're suffering um, I think this album the nothing takes them to an even better level to a new level and this is absolutely brilliant there's the elements of um, experimentation on here the heaviness is there the um the good old cold fieldy uh bass click um of his strings is back which is something i've missed since those earlier albums um the heaviness is here the new metal bounce is kind of here as well um along with just jonathan davis's impassioned vocal performance the nothing is going to be another album in this amazing album uh, amazing year for metal it has to be said um with so many albums coming out that i've now got to try and sort out which one's gonna be make it to the top 10 albums of the year and we've still got three months to go for fuck's sake um but i can see this being in there in fact this may very well be my album of the year we will see how the rest of the year pans out it gets five out of five from me absolutely well worth your time and investment so there we have it that is what i thought of the nothing by corn feel free to go check it out yourself as always these are just my opinions if your opinions differ that's all good that is fine just let me know in the comments why you feel differently about the album and um, as always feel free to like sh share subscribe all the good stuff including clicking the bell on the video as well to let you know uh, sorry on the subscription thing to let you know when i upload new videos because i don't really have a schedule for this due to the nature of my work um but yes feel free to do that also if you want to become a patron the uh, address is just there anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time